The new concerns about babies flying in their parents' laps. There were infants on that Alaska Airlines flight where the door plug flew off. Well, adults trying to hold on to those little ones, they had a hard time. And this morning we ask, what should you do? This morning, the new concern about babies sitting in the laps of their caregivers on flights. This as we get yet another up close view of the terrifying moment on that Alaska Airlines flight. A passenger sitting in the row behind the door plug that flew off, recording a man sitting closest to the opening being pulled by the force. On the plane, three babies in caregivers laps. The NTSB has long recommended and the Federal Aviation Administration has long recommended and Alaska Airline on their website also recommends for caregivers or those accompanying infants under the age of two to purchase a seat for that infant. While airlines have permitted babies under two to sit on an adult, the industry urges parents and caregivers that children are safer in their own carrier strapped in properly. The largest flight attendants union calling on that to be mandatory. Crew members on that Alaska flight were terrified thinking about the children. There's no ability, even with all the love in the world, if you are near that, that you can hang on to your child. So it is not safe for a child to be on a lap. Kirsten DeCook has a three-month-old and a two-year-old. She says travel is already stressful and very expensive, but that Alaska Airlines flight made her think twice, but still thinks that every situation is different. It's hard to say because... I feel like it's like really judging parents if you're like, if you don't get a seat, then you don't care about your kid because obviously that's not the case. Extreme turbulence and plane malfunctions are rare, but they can be dangerous. It can be even moderate turbulence where this can be a danger. If you're, if you're experiencing negative G's less than zero, where the child could rise up off your lap before you have a, t a chance to grab them. The child would get slammed back down, hopefully on your lap, but could hit an armrest, could hit the side of the aircraft. That's why experts recommend getting each child their own seat with proper gear. You actually have a seat for every single person on board, including infants, and that they are in a proper device for sitting in that seat, such as a car seat strapped in properly. And I've got some more video to show you here. Take a look at this. This is from the FAA, and it's a look at what happens to a child in a lap during severe incidents when the parent and child are thrust forward in the seat. You see those dummies right there. Obviously, the potential for some incredibly serious injuries. But, Rhiannon, you were saying this is such a debate. It's such a passionate debate on both sides. Parents are really upset at the thought of having to pay for their six-month-old mm -hmm. to have their own seat because air travel is so expensive. But at the same time, is it safe? Yeah, and that's yeah. the question. Right. That's the question. Yeah. Thank you, Gio, for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.